Okay, we're off. First 360 video. So I'm gonna be really interested to see how this turns out. And we are not far from what I would classify as an awesome road. Yes. And it's funny because it did some... Um, That's the aim here. This road doesn't really lead. I mean, it eventually goes somewhere, but it's more of a sort of connecting through road. So what we shouldn't encounter is too much traffic. Yeah. Um, Which is nice. because, Yeah, because it's not the main road to get to where we're going. So, fingers crossed. It's all good. It'll also be interesting to see how the audio is on this. So for the people at home, the people that are here where I'm pointing, <laughs> they should well, be... are they there? This is the thing. They well, could be I pointing over here now. Yeah. This if is, you guys would a... like to reference the centre console this on the car, please look down. This is the beauty of this. Yeah. It's like, there's no longer pointing and referencing things because they yeah. might not be looking at what you're talking about. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> which, yeah. Is, which is weird. Um, so where do we think... 360 is going. Is this well, like, currently is going forward? But if you look that way, it's is going it backwards. Though? Is it going forward? Yeah, so you can look left, right, up, down, forward, back. The funniest thing for me to think about is that okay, by convention we have thousands of people watching these videos. Yeah. But every person's going to have their own experience. Everybody has their different perspective. Everyone's going to have a different perspective on this same video. On the same content. Yeah. So there might be a time when someone says, oh, did you see that bit? Yeah, yeah. And no, well, <laughs> because I was pointing a completely different direction. I guess that's the... The beauty. The beauty of it is that there is a... But it's a complex beauty. Yeah. You know? I think it's one yet to be perfected. I don't think anybody's perfected this. It is. I am also seeing 360 a bit like the mini disc. Let me explain. Okay. Right. So the mini disc for me was this bridging medium yeah. that was from CD to MP3. Yeah. Right. It was like this tech that was like it's smaller, it's compact, you can fit more on it, it's lightweight, and it's cool, it's trendy, but soon it's going to be superseded. Yeah. What I mean by that is we're going from video bridging the gap with 360, and then we're going to get VR. Yeah. 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 So 360 for me is the bridging product that is filling in the gap between conventional video and virtual, Full reality. On virtual reality. Now I don't know how long it's going to be until VR is mass consumer, and yeah. that's the thing that's going to drive because it. Because right now you have, if you think about the levels of 360, you have base level is like a Google Cardboard, and actually yeah. I reckon there'll be a lot of you guys at home yeah. that have Google Cardboard and are probably watching it through that. So if you are, let us know, yeah. because you know a lot of brands are using those promotional pieces exactly. with the cardboard, you can add yeah. your own graphics, we've worked with a few brands that do that for yeah. us, and but, that's really but cool. Like for us, being involved in this world, yeah. it's really important for us to like, stay on top of this, yeah, and figure out how, how people are basically using it. Now my personal experience with 360 is most of the, of the time it'll be on Facebook and yeah. I'll just drag my finger around yeah. the screen. Quite a few car dealerships have phone. started doing it, haven't they? And putting they a have. camera in the seat yeah. of the passenger. So you can get, get involved and pan around, yeah. check out stuff. But I'm trying to think of ways how it's going to enhance the experience of the people watching it. Yeah. Um, I, I think, I think for me is... though, my uh, channel has always, it, it started because I literally wanted to take as many people as I could along for the, the ride. Journey, yeah, That's how right. it started. So this for me is truly next step. It's like, yeah. okay, not only can they experience what I'm showing them, but also if they want to look out of the window, yeah. they can. Yeah. What it is, it is the closest you'll get until you get, like you say, get into full kind of virtual reality, like spatial stuff where you can move around and yeah. kind of go through like depth. This is the yeah. closest you'll get to actually That's being it. in the passenger seat yeah. of a car that, you know, how many of these were made? There's not many people that are going to experience them on a, on a mass scale. Well, that's what's happening right get... now is I don't think the quality of the, of the uploads, the original quality is okay, yeah. Yeah. but when it gets uploaded to a server, take YouTube, take Facebook, yeah. it's right now I really don't think that's going to happen. Yeah. I think it's going to be more like a YouTube channel that people are going to be watching yeah. and they're going to be able to look around the screen and they're going to be able to look around the screen. Yeah. It's not the same 4K that you're seeing in flat video. No. And that's by virtue of the fact that people like YouTube haven't got the algorithm yet to yeah. kind of enable the quality that this, like this Nikon camera shoots in 4K and we're shooting in 4K yeah, now. Absolutely. And it, that will offer the best bit rate on YouTube and it will offer the best viewing experience possible. But you know, Nikon in that small package that they've got there, they've effectively got like two action cameras back to back with special lenses on them yeah. that enable this 4K. So 
this camera is, when you think about the technology inside of this camera and how powerful it is for the size of it, it's, I'd say it's a square equivalent to, to uh, your traditional action cameras. Yes. Um, and but like, it's, it's glued been, together. Yeah, to glued, glued together. And it, what it's doing is filming two 4K video files at the same time so with so audio. And, and then, stitching it together. And then stitching it all in the camera. So in not real doing time. any of that post in real time. And that's the experience you're getting. So it's it's probably the best user. And also from a user perspective, like we're having to set this up and do it ourselves. Yeah, exactly. that's, yeah, yeah, that's that's one of the key things of YouTube is that you don't have a film group with you. Yeah. You maybe have one other person that helps you, or you know, if you're uh, the more and more developed you get, you do you can build a small team, but like that's not enough to have a specific 360 team. This isn't the grand tour. For that, me, is, this is the closest I've found so far. existed 10 years ago the distribution platforms were based on people with commercial backgrounds they would cr create yeah. content for tv as yeah, it were. Yeah, yeah. and so um the market wasn't dictating where that stuff was shown it was like you're going to watch on tv or not like take it or leave it yeah now content creators are people like us who are making content you know two three four times a week yeah yeah uh, you know, the market is dictating that actually I go on my phone now to watch content, I go on YouTube, I go on Facebook. So it's going to have to be made accessible to content creators like us to make VR content for it to hit the masses. Yeah. The masses are now on. Yeah, the masses are now They're not dictated content. by one screen. I think most of the skill and when the adoption of these platforms will come along is when it's easy for content creators to make stuff. Yeah, and the cool thing now with YouTube and with Facebook is they have native 360 support. So Does it? you literally take the, the image from this camera, Nikon has their own software. Yeah. You literally press a button that says save for YouTube. And it's, it's it goes everything. to YouTube. I believe totally. they have the same thing for, for Facebook where yeah. you save it for Facebook and it has all the right metadata and kind of uh -huh. tech inside of it. So when it goes to YouTube, it goes, well, oh, it's 360 videos yeah, and maybe they stitch it back together it just for you. Works. Um, yeah. Side note, the weather has got really bad, the camera isn't over It really has. We should probably turn around yeah. in a minute and go back down that way yeah. and change up the angles. Yes, uh, definitely. Look. Give a different perspective. Sorry, change up the perspective. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so that was our first experience uh, with the Nikon Key Mission 360. Yep. 360 being the key word here. Have you learned anything by shooting our first 360 yeah. video? I think there's a lot of opportunity to make yeah. some really cool stuff. We've been messing around with a few angles today and kind of getting perspectives. different perspectives <laughs> rather than angles as we used to. And I really think there's a big future in this as the technology kind of develops and, and people like Nick will invest loads into building these kind of smaller cameras that are like action cam orientated so they're very easy to set up. Um, and you use the app uh, like other cameras to kind of give a, a live view and because it's all live That's stitched. That's so handy. Like seeing it's, where it's the amazing. stitch yeah, yeah. allows you to line it up yeah. and get it right. And I'm sure with the next iteration, the iterations after that, they'll have ones where the stitch line isn't even an issue and you don't even have to yeah. think about that. I mean, it's when you get used to it, it's okay, but it's not as simple as it might first seem no. uh, to get that sort of clean shot. Yeah. But it's definitely interesting and I'm most looking forward to the day when you can integrate 360 with your standard video Yeah. you can alternate between you can one. create an immersive experience. That would be awesome. But so far, I'm enjoying the first experience. Leave your comments below as to what you think about 360, where it's heading, if you like it, if you don't like it. And also like how it. you watch the video. I'd be intrigued to see yeah, if it's Google Cardboard it. or Oculus exactly. Rift or Samsung Gear VR. Or that sort or of stuff. Uh, 
yeah, just generally, because this is new for me, it's new for us, and uh, yeah, I just kind of want feedback, really, to see what you guys think. As always, thanks for watching. See you next time. Ciao!